in the last video I've told you that whenever you have your wireless card in monitor mode you can basically capture any packets within its range. In this video I'm going to be explaining you how to capture the packets and what is the information that we get from the captured packets. So I've already opened my Kali Linux virtual machine and I've also plugged in my wireless card. So let me just tap on terminal and type in iwconfig. So iwconfig. So you can see that my wireless card is actually connected and you can also see that my wireless card is now in managed mode. So I told you that whenever you want to hack Wi-Fi or whenever you want to capture the packets, you need to have your wireless card in monitor mode. So let me actually, you know, set the wireless cards mode to monitor. So for that, I'm going to be using the second method for setting the wireless card to monitor mode. So first off, we need to disable our wireless card. That is if config space wlan0 down. And the next thing, iwconfig space wlan0 mode space monitor. Enter. As you see, no errors. That means now it is in monitor mode. Now we need to again reactivate our wireless card that is if config wlan0 and up now if you type in iwconfig enter you can see that my wireless card is now in monitor mode and its name is wlan0 great so to capture packets but before that if you see here just tap on this you know small arrow you can see that i'm not connected to any wi-fi i'm not connected to any access point my wireless card is not connected to anything but still I can sniff any packets within my range with the help of my wireless card. So let me just tell you how to do it. So for that there is a command called arrow dump ng. So arrow dump dash ng space wlan0. Remember that this is the name of your wireless card which is in monitor mode. If you did set your wireless cards mode to monitor with the help of the first method Remember that you need to change this name. This can be WLAN0MON because whenever you actually set the monitor mode using the first method, the name gets changed, you know, to some other name like WLAN0MON or MON0MON. It can be anything, but you need to remember that this is the name of the wireless card which is in monitor mode. For me, the wireless card's name is WLAN0 and it is in monitor mode, and that is the reason I'm using WLAN0 right here. Okay, great. Now let me just press enter and you'll start to see the capturing of the packets with the help of this particular wireless card. So let me just press enter. And as you can see, it's already capturing packets. So let us just wait so that we get, you know, more information. As you can see, the information is getting increased, increased. So let us just wait for, you know, you know, 10 seconds, 10 more seconds, 20 more seconds. Now, as we got a lot of information, let me just stop sniffing. If you want to stop sniffing, all you need to do is press Ctrl C. So Ctrl C. And there you go. Now the sniffing has stopped. Now, let us have a look at the information that we have captured. So basically, there are two sections here. So this is the first section and this is the second section. So let us have a look at the first section first. So as you can see here, the first section lists all the access points. So what is an access point? Access point is anything that actually provides internet. So access point is something which provides internet. It can be a router, it can be a hotspot, anything. So basically an access point is something which is providing the internet. So the first section lists all the access points. So UT Starcom is an access point, BSNL 4G Plus is an access point, blah, 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 etc, etc. And also you can see that we get the MAC address for this particular device. You know, it can be a hotspot, it can be, you know, a router, it can be a wireless card, anything. So basically this device has a MAC address, as I told you, any networking device has a MAC address. So here we are getting information about the MAC address as well. So this particular access point has this MAC address, this one. UT Starcom is my router, which is in my room right now and it has this particular MAC address. Same with this and same with this. You can also see that what kind of password encryption these access points are using. I'm using WPA2 as you can see here. So the UT Starcom is using WPA2 encryption 
and same with the other because WP80 is obviously the toughest password to crack. It is difficult to crack, it is difficult to hack these passwords. And that is the reason you need to use WP82 as well. So that is about the first section. These are the important things that you need to know for now. So first section is done. Now let's move on to the second section. So this is the second section. So the second section basically lists all the devices that are connected to these access points. So for example, consider UT Starcom. What is the MAC address for UT Starcom? So UT Starcom has this MAC address that is 001BDA2C95B5. So check for this MAC address in the second section. So 00 and there you go. There is one. That means there is only one device connected to UT Starcom. And what is that device? That device is something with this MAC address. So this is our access point MAC address. And this is the device MAC address that is connected to UT Starcom. So that is only one device is actually connected to UT Starcom. Now let's take another example. For example, take this particular access point. What is its MAC address? CAD779A4790F. So let us actually search for this MAC address in the second section. As you can see, there are three same MAC address that are listed here. That means there are three devices that are connected to that particular access point. You can also get the MAC addresses of those three devices and they are listed as follows right here. So B, C, 3B and this is the second one, this is the third one. So this is how you capture the packets with the help of Aero Dump NG and this is the basic information that you get whenever you use Aero Dump NG. So this is how you actually capture the packets. Now say that you want to hack only UT Starcom. So you want to hack only this particular access point. You want to crack the password for only UT Starcom. Then you will be needing only that information that is coming from UT Starcom. Why to sniff all the packets? Let us only sniff that packet that is coming from UT Starcom because we want to only hack UT Starcom. How to do that? We can do that with the help of Aero Dump NG and that is called targeted sniffing. We basically target one access point and get the information about only those packets that are coming from that access point. So let me just tell you how to do that. Before that, let me just type in iwconfig and also ifconfig just to check if my wireless card is up or not. And yes, it is up and it is in monitor mode. Now, let us target only UT Starcom. For that, what you need to do is you need to use this Aero Dump ng. So that is Aero Dump ng space. You need to give BSSID, that is the MAC address of this particular device, that is UT Starcom. So BSSID. Now what is the MAC address for UT Starcom? Let us just copy it. So it is right here. Great. So let us just copy the MAC address of UT Starcom. That is the BSSID as you can see here. That is the BSSID which is the MAC address. So let me just come back here. Space. Paste. So space and we need to also give the channel that is dash dash channel. We can get the information about the channel in the above aero dump result that is from here. So if you see here, what is the channel that this UT Starcom is broadcasting in? It is broadcasting in channel number 11 as you can see from here. So channel 11. So let us just put number 11 there. So space 11. And now you need to write the name of the wireless card that is in monitor mode. That is WLAN0. That's it. Enter. As you can see, now we are only capturing those packets that are coming from UD Starcom. You can also see that there is only one device that is connected for now. And this is how you actually capture, you know, any packets that are coming from a particular access point by using AeroDump NG. So, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.